you like ice cream? To be honest, who doesn't like ice cream? Well, maybe those that are lactose intolerant. But let's be fair here, ice cream kicks ass. But what about bad ice cream? Well, even that can kick ass too. Because when I mean bad, I don't mean awful. I mean badass. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Heavy Metal Gamer Show, and this time I want to review a Flash game known as Bad Ice Cream, which was developed and published by Nitro Me, or Nitrome. It was released in 2010. Now, Nitrome, or Nitro Me, or Nitromni, <laughs> or it's Nitromi. Nitromi? I can't say this right. I'm sorry, I'm screwing this up bad. Anyways, Nitro Me is actually a site with tons of Flash games. The story behind Bad Ice Cream goes like this. You must cause havoc as ice cream. You start off by choosing a flavor of ice cream that you want to be, which are chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. Where the hell is cookies and cream? Where the hell's bubble gum? Well, there are other versions out there that have different flavors. Once you choose your flavor, you will start off by collecting fruit on each stage. Sounds easy, right? It can be for some. But for those of you that are not into puzzle games or not very good at them, it might be a bit tough. You will have to watch out for enemies in this game, but you can raise a little hell against them by blocking them from getting to you as you breathe a straight row of ice blocks. So this will give you time to get all the fruit collected and move on to the next stage. Not only that, if there are ice blocks in your way, you can break a row of them, which is always nice, especially when you want to get to certain parts that might be blocking your way. There are 40 levels you will go through, which the farther you get, the tougher the game will get. You can also play this game with a friend, although I don't know how you would do that with it being a Flash game. I'm assuming it's local multiplayer or local co-op or whatever. Of course you would have to share a keyboard. And if you can do it, go right ahead, it could be a lot of fun. Now, one thing you will notice is that you're being timed each level. That can screw you over, especially in later levels when the game gets tougher. Also, some levels you have to collect two or three different kinds of fruit, which makes for a great challenge. The graphics for Bad Ice Cream are awesome. Very well done, especially for a Flash game. It has that puzzle game retro feel to it. I really like the way it looks. The sprites of the characters are great, and it almost has a cute vibe to it. To be honest, this game reminds me of a few classic games of the past. Bubble Bobble and Kickle Cubicle. There is also a lot of color in this game. Bright colors, happy colors, and whatever else you want to call them. The game doesn't glitch at all, which is very nice, and there's no slowdowns either. Nothing I can complain about. Now, of course, I just mentioned a few classic games that this game reminds me of. I could probably throw in Pac-Man in there as well, especially when you're going around collecting fruit and all of that, and also getting chased by enemies. I'm guessing the developers took all these ideas of these three games and kind of mashed it into one, which is always great to see, especially if you can change it up a bit. The music and sound effects for Bad Ice Cream are great. It gives off a puzzle game vibe to it, which is always nice to see. Is it the most amazing music I've ever heard? No, it's far from it, but it's great music for a game like this. Although I wish there was more music in this game, because I myself have only heard like three different songs. But for what it is, and this game being a Flash game, I can't say it's a huge flaw or anything like that. The controls are very easy to understand. Moving around is simple with the arrow keys on the keyboard and spacebar is to use your ice block weapon, either to place down a row of blocks. Moving around is a little bit slow at times, but other than that, it's not a major flaw or anything like that. The game is very playable. They are still very simple and easy to understand, which is always good for a flash game. Overall, Bad Ice Cream is very fun, and to me it's an addicting game. I really enjoy the puzzle aspect of this game. It's very simple, but can be tough at times. The graphics are great, the gameplay is fun, the music and sound effects are great, but like I said, I wish there was more music in this game. The controls are not bad, could be a little better, but overall the game is fun, and you can either spend a little time playing this game, or you can spend hours playing it. It all depends on what type of gamer you are. Some might call it a casual game. I hate that term and I think it's ridiculous. To me, it's just a simple game you can pick up and play. If you want to check out Bad Ice Cream, you can do a simple Google search. You should be able to find it or check out the Nitro Me website. I will place a link in the description box below for those of you that want to play this game. If you have Facebook, you can play the game on there as well as some Flash games have been coming to Facebook. And I think that's pretty cool. 
There are two sequels to Bad Ice Cream. There are Bad Ice Cream 2 and Bad Ice Cream 3. I haven't got around to playing those, so I don't know if they changed anything up or it's different gameplay or what, but at a later time, I will review them. I wouldn't mind seeing a 2D side-scrolling platformer based on this series. I think it could be a lot of fun, either a Flash game or maybe a very cheap Steam game. I myself would pay a few bucks to play a 20-level platformer that involves the Bad Ice Cream characters. Well, that's it for this review of Bad Ice Cream. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Heavy Metal Gamer Show. <laughs> That's so stupid. Holy shit. Do you like ice cream? Who doesn't? Seriously, who doesn't like ice cream? A nice big bowl of Reese's Peanut Butter Cup ice cream. Yeah! Let's try that again. We ready? We ready? We ready? Hello and welcome to another episode of the Heavy Metal Gamer Show. I fucked up. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Heavy Metal Gamer Show. And this time I want to review a Flash game known as Bad Ice Cream, which was developed and published by Nitorone or Nitro Rome. I think it's Nitro. I, I think it fucked it up. <laughs> I just farted. The story behind I, the, now the, now there is a story behind badass badass cream. <laughs> badass cream. You got some badass cream in here. <laughs> oh shit. The story behind I don't know what I was singing there. The story I can't even talk. Hold on, let me take a drink of water. I'm not even drinking alcohol and I'm screwing up like a drunk. The story behind <laughs> Not only that, not only that. <laughs> What did I yell there? Not only that! <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here and play with myself on bad ice cream. That didn't sound right. Sounds like I'm... Never mind. Do you want some ice cream, baby? Overall, bad ice cream is... Overall... Overalls. I almost said bad ice cream again. Overall, bad ice cream. I just said it again. Fuck. 